I wouldn't say I leave things up to chance, but I would say maybe I'm a little lucky at times. On the surface, it would appear Austin Roan leads a charmed life. He is playing collegiate water polo at a school that has won 11 NCAA championship titles and is on its way to a potential 12th. Austin has tasted from the cup in three of those championships, but it has not always been champagne and roses for the UCLA senior. It was a little rough because I remember going to the doctor all the time. And as a young kid, you're know, not used to being in the hospital a lot. And that I remember, not because it was traumatic, but because I was getting used to it. I was like, oh, like, when's the next doctor's appointment? Like, who's the next doctor we're gonna see? He actually fell one day on his way out, uh, out the door to go to school. So I took him to the pediatrician. The pediatrician at that time thought it was pediatric arthritis. And I just felt in my gut it was something more. And it was. Austin was diagnosed with leg calvaperthes at the age of five, a disease which affects the blood flow to the femoral head, causing hip problems. Austin was put in a petri cast for two months as they waited for the blood flow to return. But even after the cast was off, Austin still remained in a wheelchair all through kindergarten and first grade. It was tough for him because he had to watch his big brother play all those sports from the sidelines and he couldn't get involved. And eventually I worked through it and I got out of my wheelchair and I played basketball when I was in grade school. And I never let that opportunity go to waste because uh, I remember when I couldn't play. And that's what I really, I got from my experience, is you gotta work hard when you have the opportunity. And also having patience. Austin had to sit out his freshman year at UCLA, a season where the Bruins won a national title. His brother, Chris Falsing, was on that championship winning team. As my brother started water polo before me, and because he played water polo, I absolutely did not want to play. I did not want to follow in his footsteps. But he did. While Chris was a strapping six foot 190, his brother weighs in 30 pounds lighter. He is not your prototypical water polo player. Austin isn't playing because he's the strongest guy in the water. No, because it's, uh, he's really a student of the game and he's one of the smartest players and sees the field very well and he knows how we want to play. It all clicked in Austin's redshirt freshman year, an NCAA championship, followed by a Team USA appearance at the World University Games where he scored a critical goal in his team's 5-4 win over Serbia for the bronze medal. I'll never forget Austin, it's, it was kind of a funny goal, but you know, he hit a huge goal for us uh, at the end of a quarter from about 13 meters out. It literally dribbled and rolled into the goal. Whether Austin has a ball in his hand or a textbook, his desire to succeed extends beyond the pool. The political science major has earned all academic excellent honors three years in a row from the Water Polo Coaches Association. I've just always had this feeling that why do it if you're not going to do it to the best of your ability? Like why to go to class if you're not going to study for the final? Austin and his teammates hope to ace the final with the victory in the NCAA championship in early December at Stanford.